Better a little with the fear of the Lord than great wealth with turmoil. Those who want to get rich fall into temptation and a trap and into many foolish and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. Then he said to them, Watch out! Be on your guard against all kinds of greed. Life does not consist in an abundance of possessions. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Those who trust in their riches will fall, but the righteous will thrive like a green leaf. The greedy bring ruin to their households, but the one who hates bribes will live. Whoever loves money never has enough, Whoever loves wealth is never satisfied with their income. This too is meaningless. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world? yet forfeit their soul. The greedy stir up conflict, but those who trust in the Lord will prosper. Command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant nor to put their hope in wealth, which is so uncertain, but to put their hope in God, who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. But woe to you who are rich, for you have already received your comfort. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have, because God has said, Never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The wicked borrow and do not repay, but the righteous give generously. Better a little with righteousness than much gain with injustice. One who oppresses the poor to increase his wealth and one who gives gifts to the rich, both come to poverty. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. Some people, eager for money, have wandered from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due, when it is in your power to act. Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously.